In this video, I'm going to show you how to prepare a room temperature saturated solution of alum for the purpose of crystal growth. So uh, alum, otherwise known as potassium aluminum sulfate dodecahydrate, is uh, a very safe chemical that's uh, usually available in grocery stores in uh, the spice section, but of course you can also get it from chemical supply shops. Uh, so I've got about 70 grams of alum here, so I've got the, uh, the powdered alum uh, fresh out of the container, and I also have some alum that I'm redissolving. So I originally got it from, uh, from a container in a powder form, and then I created a super saturated solution, and it precipitated out from the cooling of the solution. Now because these crystals grew from cooling of the solution, they grew very quickly. Uh, and as a result of this, they're poorly formed. So you can see they're, they're cloudy, um, not very good optical quality, and there's also stepping of the faces, and uh, in, in some there's the crystals are actually, there's multiple crystals that are grown together at, at various angles. So um, that's not the kind of thing that we want to use as a seed crystal. So I'm going to go ahead and re-dissolve that, and you can do this as many times as you want. Um, and in fact, recrystallization can be used to purify a compound. Um, so you can actually use this to even further purify your, your alum. Now, um, if we take a look at the solubility of curve of alum, like anything else, uh, as the temperature rises, you can dissolve more and more alum in the solution. So um, what I want to do is produce a solution that is at saturation, so right on this line, at about room temperature, so around 20 degrees, a little over 20 degrees. Um, and the way I'm going to make sure that I get there is I'm actually going to heat the water all the way up to the boiling point, and that will increase the amount of alum that I can dissolve into the water. So um, at, at 100 degrees Celsius, I can dissolve about 1.65 grams of alum per gram of water. So I can actually have more alum than I have water. Uh, and then I'm going to let the temperature drop. And when the temperature drops, the solubility is going to drop. And this alum is going to have to precipitate out of the solution. And it will do so with um, crystal nucleation and rapid crystal growth. Now because of the rapid crystal growth, these are going to be terrible crystals, um, but it's not actually the crystals that I want. Those crystals I'll set aside and I'll recycle them just as I'm doing here. Um, it's actually the solution that I want. So I'm going to let that alum precipitate out and let that solution cool so that now I have a saturated solution at room temperature and then that's what I'm going to use to grow uh, my crystals and I'll show you the, the crystals that I already have going, the ones that I'm essentially using as, as seeds for uh, continued growth with this new solution. So I've got the, the alum all together in a pot here, and uh, I've got some water. Now, I've got uh, about the same amount of water that I have alum, so I've got in here about 75 milliliters of water. And the real handy dandy thing about the metric system is that 75 grams of water is 75 milliliters. It's one gram per milliliter. So um, it's very easy to measure out uh, the amount of water that I need without having a a scale of the precision that I would need to to uh, do this well. So I'm going to go ahead and add the water. Now, so I've got about a I've got about a 50-50 ratio here. So so I'm you know somewhere in around here, uh, which at 20 degrees, of course, it would be way super saturated. Um, so I actually can't dissolve all of this alum. Now, some of this alum is dissolving into the water. This water is at room temperature. Um, so some of that alum will be dissolving until it gets up to this line. So anytime I'm in this region, the alum is going to dissolve until it reaches this line. Sometimes it takes a long time to do so, though. So I, I, I prefer to actually drop down onto the line rather than, than rise up to it. Um, so, uh, so it'll only dissolve up to that line and then no more alum is going to dissolve. So uh, what I'm going to do is turn on the stove and get this water boiling and I should be able to dissolve all that alum. 